That's right, contagious to the Nile. And her own the Pharaoh's daughter, and she went to bathe in style. Now she took her dip, and on coming back to land, for to dry the old royal pelt, she ran along the strand. <laughs> now ball rushed her up to her, and whereupon she saw a smiling little bobby in a great big hole of straw. And she picked him up, and she said, in accents sweet and mild, at a certain age as girls know, which one he is on the child. <laughs> well, she picked him up, and she gave a little grin, for wasn't she and Moses a standing in the skin? <laughs> Be bad now, said she, short for someone very rude, to leave a little baby near the river in the new <laughs> She took him to the pharaoh, as sitting on the throne. Da, said she, will you give the boy a home? He dad now, said he, I've all times done things worse. Had a go, me darling daughter, and find yourself a nurse. Now a black and old woman stepped from amongst the crew, and said, you old royal savage, What's it to do with you? For all your humble ladies, they are too meek and mild to honestly beget themselves such a darling little child. Well, said the pharaoh, I'll search every nook from the phoenix pack right down to Dunnybrook. And when I catch that little goodyear's father, I'll pick him from the Nile right back down to the daughter. <laughs> Well, she sent the bellman to the market square just to see if she could find a cheap old skitty there. The only one that she could find was the little young one that had left the child behind. <laughs> she went on to the pharaoh, a stranger Maria, <laughs> never letting on that she was young Moses and Ma. And so young Moses, he got his mummy back, which shows the coincidence, isn't it the crack? <laughs> <laughs>